Kenny. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Do you want it? Should we turn it around and go in there? Do we want it? Go, just go. Go. Let's go. <laughs> Father God, we thank you so much for this time together, Lord, and we thank you for the love that these two have found, and we ask for your presence to be here. We ask, God, that it would be more important that you would be here than anything else to unify these two. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, we are in a unique set of circumstances, but there is love nonetheless. And for those of you that don't know, they met on TikTok, which is a social media app. It's a very uh, unique set of circumstances that brought them together, but we are here to celebrate the love that these two have for each other. Cohen Miller, here we are. Today is the day we have been longing for since the day we met. It was so easy to fall in love with you. I will never forget the first day I laid eyes on you at LAX and the nerves that left my body once I was finally in your arms. I will never forget that first night where we danced by the ocean in Santa Barbara and the feeling of saying goodbye to you so many times while we did long distance. I will never forget the first time I took you to Sanibel and I convinced you to ride a tandem bike with me and our first New Year's Eve together with all my family. I will never forget the excitement of having you move to Florida and flying across the country with you for all of our fun trips. I thank God for giving me the confidence, peace, and assurance to take that risk in October 2020 to fly across the country to meet a man I hardly knew. Cohen, you are the greatest gift I have ever received. You are all I've dreamed for and all I've longed for. Your kindness, gentleness, patience, godliness, courage, and gen generosity are just a few of the reasons why I fell in love with you. Your steadiness grounds me, your curiosity challenges me, and your goodness points me to heaven. You are a beautiful example of God's love, loyalty, and strength. I remember being a little girl and praying to God, asking him to let me have a love like my parents have. I know with full confidence that you will be that man. Cohen Miller, there is none like you. I vow to love you with everything inside of me for every day of my life. I vow to push you and challenge you. I vow to be a wife that walks in humility and honors and respects you at all times. I vow to never give up, to push through it all even in the most difficult seasons. I vow to pray with you and for you forever. I vow to hold your heart with patience, gentleness, and loyalty. I vow to surrender myself daily to the Lord. I vow to believe in you and believe in the dreams God has given you. Saying yes to forever oh today God. is no small proclamation, but I could not be more sure or more excited about it. <laughs> All I could have ever asked for in a husband and the father to our future children is a man who loves Jesus more than he loves me. You are my greatest treasure, my deepest friend, and the one whom my soul loves. Looking into your eyes is the closest representation I'll have of Jesus on this side of heaven. I cannot wait to keep growing with you and growing up with you. I give you my whole entire heart, Cohen Miller, today and every day. I will. Emma Goal, very soon to be Emma Miller. We finally get to do this for ourselves. We have watched so many couples say their vows, some of them even privately, with only us in the room taking photos. Uh, 
them. And after listening to all the different couples say their vows, there's one line that I cannot relate with. So many people start by saying, I can't believe that we're here. And while it is true, I can't believe we're standing in the rain um, on a mountain in Malibu. From the moment I saw you, I knew it was you. Just keep it over her. We've come so far from that very first trip to Santa Barbara. I forced you to eat in and out enough that you love it now. You no longer make fun of my driving. We know each other so well. We've grown so much. I'll just skip to the vows. I vow, I vow to be a man worthy of your trust. I vow to protect you with my life. Look at me. I vow to protect you with my life. To sacrifice myself for you every day. To put you, put, to put your needs first, your desires, your wants, your hobbies. I vow to be faithful to you and only to you. I vow to learn the ways that you need to be loved and love you with everything that I have. I vow to be a leader for our family. I vow to put you second only behind God. And to finish, I want to read something that summarizes my vows perfectly. Ruth 1, starting in verse 16. But Ruth said, Do not urge me to leave you or turn back from following you. For where you go, I will go, and your people will be my people, and your God will be my God. Where you die, I will die. <clears throat> May the Lord do with me what he does to you and worse. If anything but death do we part. I love you, honey. Well, they vow to love each other, and we are going to now just skip to the good part. We all know what a ring represents. So, in the presence of Almighty God, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. she would ramble on and on about her handsome Cali boy on the other coast. When Emma first told me she was flying to California to meet someone she met on TikTok, I was like, um, I love you, but you know, I don't know how that's gonna go. But she just told me that she thought everything was gonna be okay. And obviously, as we're standing here today, it was more than okay. I remember my wife and I, we would walk in and Cohen would be all dressed up and he'd have this fancy meal in front of him and across from him, was this little screen and Emma was doing the exact same thing. They got so creative so that they wouldn't think about how far the distance was between them. This man was willing to move 3,000 miles away not knowing anyone but just her. She's easygoing and that personality is matched with a fervent desire to grow in the things of God, which I know for a fact has encouraged all those around her. Cohen is a guy who you can always count on. He's a great conversationalist. He's someone that I admire. And that's why I'm super excited they're getting married because they're already so great apart. I can only imagine what they're going to do together. Emma and Cohen, both of you, you love with your full heart. You love immensely and that is something that I will always look up to for both of you. Love isn't a feeling or an emotion, but it's an action, a choice, and an ongoing commitment. Today, you've exchanged your vows and have promised to make that choice daily. I love you both, and I'm so happy for both of you. To Cohen and Emma, these guys are amazing. Cheers. It's like nothing. We have been talking about getting on the dance floor for months now. So listen, from now until the end of the night, we're partying. So let's everybody raise a glass to the party. Okay. 